going to try and sell AI images on stock photography websites for the next 90 days. And I'll be showing you every step from generating the images to uploading them and the amount of money I've made in the process. Now, stock photography websites have been around for well over 30 years, but for most of that time, the only people who were making money from those sites were those with professional camera equipment and those who actually had subjects to shoot, such as people, food, and landscapes. But since the birth of AI, we can now create far more interesting images from the comfort of our own homes without needing any equipment or subjects to shoot and only needing a Wi-Fi connection and a laptop. And to quickly show you what I mean, here are two photos of a coffee from a cafe. Now, can you guess which one is real and which is AI? Well, if you guessed image number one as being real, then you would be wrong. And if you guessed number two, you would also be wrong as they are both in fact AI images. And the people who license these type of photos from stock websites aren't put off from using AI images as there's people making well over 20 to $30,000 a year just licensing their AI images that they've created in a matter of seconds. Now, from what I understand of these stock websites, people license images from them when they don't have the option of taking the photos themselves, or it's just a quicker and easier process of getting the photos they need. So using Midjourney, I'm going to generate my first 100 images and here I'm going to try and test out different styles of images of food, drinks, people and mock-ups. This way I can get an idea of what sells best as we continue throughout this challenge. So as of right now, I have some images of pasta dishes, coffee, people wearing suits and interior mock-ups. And I don't know if having a range of different images will negatively affect my account or if it will help diversify the audiences that I'm reaching, but we're going to run with it and find out. And the last thing I need to do is sign up to Adobe Stock, which is considered one of the main stock photography websites and then begin uploading my images. Now, one thing I will say about this process is that it can be a bit tedious. Going through and having to type out a title and fill out loads of different tags for each image can be quite time consuming but regardless i have over 100 images in review with adobe stock and hopefully they approve them soon as i'm working against the clock to get as many up as possible okay so it's now day 50 and i bring some good and bad news first the good news is that things seem to be working as we've had 14 downloads already for a total of eight dollars and 79 cents however the bad news is that it's taken me this long to get to 531 images in my portfolio with most of them only being approved in the past few days for the first month i was capped at the amount i could upload and have in review at one time so i was constantly waiting for approvals before i could go ahead and upload more but this basically means that those 14 downloads came from my first 50 to 100 images. So in theory, now having over 500 images, I should start to see more traction and downloads in the next 40 days. And I've also decided that in order to generate more downloads, I'm going to try and sign up to as many stock websites as I possibly can, and then hopefully this will begin to make us even more money. And thinking back to the start of this challenge, I should have really done this from the beginning as I would have had far more downloads across multiple platforms already. But at least if you feel like trying this yourself, you'll know to do this from the off instead of waiting for images to get approved on just one site. But I've now signed up to Shutterstock, 123RF, Dreams Time, and Alami or Alami. Um, but I couldn't upload all of my images just yet. So I'll keep an eye on each account and then upload images as of when I can. And I did try to sign up to Gitty Images, iStock, Stocksy, and Deposit Photos, but I need to wait for them to approve my application. So in the meantime, I want to go ahead and test out some new ideas for images because after taking a look around on some of these sites, everything seems to be very basic and conventional. And I want to know your thoughts on this, but I was thinking of generating images like this of an electric car charger coming out of a tree which I think is pretty unique and my theory behind this is most people licensing images are businesses that are trying to draw attention so if I upload images like this then I'll be the first to do it meaning little to no competition and I'll also be offering eye-catching images for businesses that might want to use it for advertisements or their websites because if you came across these two adverts on Facebook which one are you more likely to click on or at least stop and look at but I guess the only way to find out is by testing it. So for the next 100 to 200 images, I'm going to try and create these style of non-conventional but eye-catching images and just see how they perform. Just a quick update, it's been a few days since applying for other stock websites, but it turns out that Shutterstock, iStock, Gitty Images, Deposit Photos, and Alami don't accept AI images at all, so those are no longer options. But I'm still live on Adobe Stock, and I'm now live on 123RF and Dreams Time, and as of right now, we're at 7 downloads and $11.22 so it's showing good signs of picking up. 
It's now day 70, which is nearing the end of the challenge, and we're currently at 22 downloads and $14.96 on Adobe stock, with a portfolio size of 608 images, but unfortunately still no downloads on 123RF and Dreams Time. But looking at the most downloaded images so far, we can see that it's mostly mock-ups and food images, so I'm thinking to switch my approach and just create these types of images for the remainder of this challenge. Now, in case you wanted to try this yourself, I'll quickly show you everything from start to finish, as I think I've figured out the fastest and easiest process. So first, I'm going to open up Midjourney and ChatGBT, and what I like to do is batch all of my images by creating around 20 to 30 images all in the same style, which saves me time when it comes to uploading. And before I start typing in prompts, I'm going to ask ChatGBT to give me a list of 30 prompts for some food dishes using Midjourney, and this will save me time thinking of them myself. And using a base prompt like this one, all I have to do is copy and paste the ideas from ChatGBT into this middle section here inside of Midjourney and then click enter. And once it returns me the four different images, I'll try to upscale at least two or three of them but if I'm not happy with any of them, I'll just click the refresh button and go again till I end up with a few that I like. And to get the best quality possible, I'm going to upscale all of my images using the upscale creative button. And then from there, I can save them all into my files. And to take it one step further and upscale these images even more, here I've opened up an AI image upscaler website and all I have to do is upload my images, hit start tool and then download them all once done which will give me my final images. Then the last step is to upload them to the stock website. So here in Adobe stock I'm just going to drag and drop all the image files into the uploaded files section. And once finished processing I'm again going to use ChatGBT to help me create the title and keywords which is going to save me so much time typing them out myself. So here for this image I already have the main part of the title from the prompt that ChatGBT gave me earlier so I'm just going to copy it and then quickly run it through this text converter so it's not all in lowercase and then paste it into my image title where I can now add some more words like restaurant food menu image which should help with SEO. Now for the keywords I'm going to copy the entire title and paste it into this pre-written prompt that I've been using in ChatGBT and this will give me all the keywords I need in lowercase and separated by commas, which means I can just copy and paste it all without having to make any changes. And lastly, before I hit submit, I'm going to select the correct category and make sure to tick created using AI along with property and people are fictional and now it's ready for submission. And if you happen to have a collection of images that are pretty much the same, you can select multiple images at once and repeat the same process by adding all titles and keywords in one go. So the final process with everything being used looks something like this. Okay, so it's now day 90, which means the challenge is officially over. And unfortunately, throughout those 90 days, I was only able to get 997 images up on Adobe stock, with around 400 images still waiting to be reviewed. But now for the main question that you're probably wanting to know, how much did we make from this challenge? Well, we made a total of $33.63 on Adobe stock. And then as for 123RF and Dreams Time, unfortunately, we didn't make anything at all. And while $33 is pretty bad for the amount of time that I spent generating these images and uploading them to these stock websites, I am curious to see what will happen in the future if I just let them sit on these websites and how much they will make me in the following months. Because I can imagine it getting to a point where it could return me $100 a month or more if I continue uploading these images, but then I would have to ask myself whether it's worth all the work of uploading these images on a regular basis. And if you happen to be wondering what images sold the most, here we can see the top sellers for the 90 days, and it seems that mock-ups, food, and solar panel related images perform the best. Now, if you have any other ideas for challenges that you want to see, then please let me know down below in the comments as I'm kind of short for ideas at the moment. And if you haven't done so already, please drop this video a like as it took quite a lot of time to try this challenge and film for you guys and make sure to subscribe to see future challenge videos as well. But that will be all for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye for now.